What's up guys? So five months ago, I made this video about how to set up C-Shop for NeoVim and it has been well appreciated as it feels to me. I appreciate you back. Thank you very much for the support, the engagement, the comments, everything. And yeah, the major thing that changed since I made this video is that we have a new LSP now. Um, that video was based on, or like the setup was based on the old OmniSharp LSP, which is a little bit limited. You cannot do Razor programming. It's a little bit slow. And yeah, it's a little bit outdated. And what changed since then is that I got the Rosen LSP to working. And today what we're going to do is we're going to have a look on how the Rosen LSP actually looks like in Neovim. So enjoy this one. Three advantages that I see that Roslyn or the Rosen LSP clearly has over the old OmniSharp LSP. Number one is what you see right here. It's official. It's coming from Microsoft. This is the thing running in VS Code meant to be used by millions of developers. So you have official vendor support for that LSP from Microsoft directly. That is always a good thing. That is good. Number two is it's faster than the old OmniShop. We will see that in a second. And number three, we're also going to see it in a second. You can, you can do Blazor and Razor programming with that. So this is the Roslyn project on GitHub. And Roslyn, he says, is the .NET compiler platform, which contains all the logic for the diagnostics and everything you would need from an LSP. And now what Microsoft did is they didn't make it an LSP just as any other LSP. They made a compiler platform, which is a collection of DLLs, not just one, that have to be integrated. So that makes it a little bit more complicated to use it in something else than Visual Studio Code, right? I guess they did it because they love open source so much. So, you know, what I'm talking about is the C Sharp Dev Kit is actually a wrapper around the DLLs like Microsoft Code Analysis C Sharp. So what's interesting to me is when you look here, you have the, the total downloads, 1.1 billion downloads and per day average, uh, 268,000. Now, I don't know anyone, even who's using VS Code for C-sharp programming, consciously, you know, going .NET add package Microsoft code analysis. It, no one does this. This thing is wrapped by the C-sharp dev kit. It's, it's happening automatically in the background as you install the C-sharp dev kit. And, you know, it's doing some updates. Then you would have an increase in the download counter right here, but no one is doing .NET add package doop de doo So they made it a little bit harder for anyone else, you know, anyone who's not using VS Code, but another editor to actually use this DLL as an LSP in something like NeoVim, right? And so the whole point of the video, as I said, is to see it running in NeoVim. And the thing that changed since I made the last video is that now what we have is, boop -de where is it? We have roselin.neovim. roselin.neovim does all the heavy lifting that is necessary to make this DLL working as an LSP in our NeoVim for us. So when I scroll down, roselin.neovim, boops. This is an actively maintained and upgraded fork, doop -de -doop -de -doop -de -doo. This language server is currently used in Visual Studio Code extension, which is shipped with the standard C-sharp dev kit. This is just what I said. So what you see right here is two identical Docker containers. One runs OmniSharp, one runs Roslyn. And what you see is that once I open a normal console application project like this, open it, open the program. This is how long it takes for OmniSharp to load, right? The next thing you see is going to take a while is when I want to hop to the definition of a third party library, like, like the, the right line uh, method from the system library. I'm going to go to the definition of that. It also took a while, okay? Just a couple of seconds, but it took a moment. So this is the speed factor. When I go to Roslyn now, again, I open the console application project with NeoVim, I go to program, boom, there it is. This is no editing. This is just the, the pure speed. When I now go to the right line method, boom, there it is. It feels clearly much faster than OmniSharp. The next thing is Blazor. And we can forget this with OmniSharp. It's just not possible. But with Roseland, it is possible. So I go, boom, 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 go to my, my, Blazor, my Blazor project. Again, open it. And I go to counter something. 
then you see that with this setup that I'm going to talk about in the future, then you see they have a little Razor language server LSP down here and everything you would expect the LSP to do for you would actually get, right? So when I go to incre increment and then I change, I change a method name, I see the LSP screaming at me, right? Also, I can go to the definition of that thing. When I go to the definitions of that thing, I see that this method is defined once here and it's also used right here. So this is also what you would expect, right? The next thing is when I go into the main layout, main layout razor, then you see that you have the little counter component here with the property law, etc. And I could also jump from the markup of the main layout to the component itself. And also when you jump to the code brackets and you change something, you, you get the full LSP support right here. So this is possible now. And the thing that makes me confident uh, promoting the Razor language server, you know, for, for, for you in this video is um, I was using that to port a free or old project from .NET 7 to .NET 9, and it was able to um, do all of that that I just showed you and also recognize the uh, NuGet package references and recognize when I had a broken reference and also recognized the working references correctly. So it, it makes me confident that the thing is ready to be used in even your day job or something like that. So I'm, I'm really confident promoting this to you right now. So now let's talk about things that are not a deal breaker per se, but it could need some improvements. I'm talking about my own little personal wish list that, yeah, that would be nice to have in the future for all of this. And it's mostly about the, the Razor or Blazor programming. So one of the things is the references. When I go to my code behind file and I go to counter to the class definition, and I want to see in which Razor files this component is actually used from the code behind file, then I don't get anything. I move the the cursor right here and then I try to look for the references and it goes to the beginning <laughs> beginning of the word. It's the same for the properties. And the next thing is when I look for the references of the method body, right? Then you see one this correctly, this is the definition itself. This is a method definition itself. That's correct. And the other thing is it is correct that I, I'm using this method in the the razor file. But as a kind of a crutch, I see the reference in the razor.virtual.cs file, which is, I guess, something that the LSP is using. It would be nicer to see counter, to see it in the markup itself, in the razor file. That, that would be nice. And yeah, besides that, again, these are not deal breakers. Everything I would expect from the thing works just fine. So what is also nice about Roseland is that you get a little bit more detailed LSP support. What I'm meaning is that you get hints now, right? When you look at this, like use compound assignment and what is this unnecessary assignment of value or something, something. This is something that you get from Roseland that you do not get from OmniShop. You don't get hints from OmniShop. You get warnings and errors like so, but you don't get hints. Now, the thing that I would really appreciate is that when I look for the diagnostics, although the different types of diagnostics are recognized correctly, that still you have you have the, the category is nil. Like it doesn't matter if it's a warning or a hint or an error, it all says nil. And that makes it a little bit hard because I would I would now go and would do a fuzzy finding, right? Through the different types of things, but I cannot because everything is nil. It would be nice to have that. I don't know if that is a Roslyn thing or Roslyn.admin thing, but that would be nice. Um, the workaround I found for myself so far is that I have different key bindings for different types of diagnostic messages. So for example, this would be an error and I have one binding to give me all the diagnostic messages and I have one binding to just give me errors of the current file. And this is how I navigate my, my way around that. That is why it's not a deal breaker, it's fine. It's, yeah, it would be just nice to have. You might have noticed that I didn't show you how to set up uh, Roslyn and the Razor language server. I decided that this is for another video because, you know, as I said, the the previous tutorial has been five months ago. And I do believe it's time to make an updated, improved version of that video where I show you how to set up NeoVim 
for C Sharp, including the Rosalind LSP and the Razor language server, along with how to get syntax highlighting working, how to make testing and debugging working and all these things. So if you don't want to miss out on that, subscribe to the channel. See you next time. Bye-bye.